All right, welcome viewers. We've got an exciting game for you today between who is it? The Nevermores? Nevermores and Tag Reflex. Nevermores and Tag Reflex. All right, we scrimmed these guys before. They're a pretty yeah, high Never quality and LTP team. Nevermores right now sitting first in the red division with a seven one zero record, and Tag Reflex fourth in the division with a six two zero record. This should be the most exciting game, most intense game that we have for this week's matchups. And that's why we're bring that's why we're bringing it to you here now on Swing Network. This should so do you know anything about the guys Well, let me scroll down in the mumble to take a look and see who we got. Nevermore. Oh, thank you, Tom. I'm pretty sure the Nevermore's captain is Raven. The not Raven five one three, but uh, the other Raven. So he, <laughs> it was very interesting how after Raven five one three dropped the name the Nevermore's in favor of the protagonist on Major League, and Raven just decided to pick up the name for an LTP. RK, are you familiar with um, whether like you know? Raven got clearance from Raven and stuff like What's that. You know when Raven Raven took over Raven oh, yeah. 5.3's team name. What, what was there like? Is it a friendly? Is it a hostile takeover? Yeah. Yeah. He he just asked Raven and Raven said sure. Okay, so it's not total brand theft. No, well, <laughs> he he said he said sure if you give me all your best players. But then as far as I know, Raven has not claimed any Nevermore. Hmm. Ola was Nevermore's? Okay, so never mind, he did claim a player. Okay. That's a good one to claim. Promises, easy to make. <laughs> Usually hard to, uh. <laughs> yeah. hard to keep. Yeah. Well, I would give up my major league. Not, oh, he was gonna change the team name anyway, right? Is that what happened? Okay. Yeah. Why? Why though? Like. Was it pressure from private major that forced him to change? His a lot name? of people. Well, one private major didn't want to be on a team that was named after the captain because private major's selfish. And two, um, a lot, uh, some other captains <laughs> pressured him about having a having a team name based on him instead of a pun or something. So they were like, "All right, well, this is named after you. Like, we're all named after yeah, yeah." Some, uh, I'd say almost every NLTP team uh, kind of has their captain's influence into it. Um, the Rectal Rangers, 3D, yep. some nuclear bombs. <laughs> Soviet but Ballers, Capri Suns. Soviet Ballers has something to do with Luke Mu? Luke Mu is a communist. Oh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that just could, threw me could. for a loop right there. I'm like, what? He, but he could be. In fact, he's not doing himself any favors lately. <laughs> the Soviet see. ballers, of course, today are about to be crushed by Team Jukeboxers. Uh huh. And obviously, you're not biased at all, right? That was a completely no. fair and accurate assessment of the situation. The facts on the ground stay the same regardless of who's reporting them. All right, Tom. <laughs> Are you a captain, Joel? Yeah, I'm the, the captain of Team Duke Boxers. Why do you ask that? Oh, oh, right, I see. So... <laughs> uh, um, uh, disclaimer, Trowball is captain of the opposing team. I am looking at the stats right now. I don't really want to talk about it. So, Duke okay. Boxer is feeling hot lately, coming off their first win. This team is psyched and ready to play for the next game. Uh, yep, I am have nothing else to say about that. Okay. Right. Absolutely. Sure. All right. 
So the week five schedule, we've got uh, Team Drift versus the Capri Suns. The Liberty Caps are facing the Capybaras. Rippin' Balls against the Rectal Rangers. White Caps is going against the Nuclear Bombs. White Caps, uh, of course, the best team in the Blue Division with a 7-1 record. And then we've got uh, the Unbelief Balls. Okay. Down to the Red Division, the Incredibles are going after whose flag is it anyways. We've got the Juke Boxers facing off against the Soviet Ballers. The Soviet Ballers are stricken by a curse. They have lost every one of their first games and won every one of their second. Every, without exception? Without exception, through four weeks. <laughs> this is either the most clutch team in NLTP or there's some kind of conspiracy brewing. There's too consistent. That's, that's way too consistent. And usually when you get beat in the first game, I mean, the odds are is that you're going to get beat in the second, but I've seen them take it in convincing fashion for the second. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the ball, the ball Busters versus the Make Ball Leaves. Operation Deployment or Development Balfa, uh, another high quality team with a 6 and 2 record going up against 21 Juke Street. Uh, so, let's see if OD Balfa can add to their stats. But yeah, we've got we've got the top matchup in the NLTP for you brought to you today on Swing Network. You've got top and troll ball here. Stick around. Yep. So right now you're looking at the standings for NLTP separated into blue division and red division. The white caps are set, sitting at the top of the boards with 21 points and they're tied with the nevermores in the red division. Both of them have 21 points, but I do believe that white caps superior cap differential would put them first overall. Wow, white caps have a plus 52 cap differential. That is actually really amazing. Combined with their 7-1-0 record, of course. And um, Tripping Boss, the second in the blue division, sits third in the entire league with 20 points and 25 cap differential. Juking under the influence, 5 wins, 3 losses, 0 ties, 15 points, 4 cap differential, and 7th in the league. The Capri Suns, 4 wins, 3 losses, and 1 tie, 13 points. Ninth in the NLTP, and there's three teams from the fourth, fifth, and sixth of the blue division. They seem to be neck to neck with identical records, very similar cap differentials. So that would be the Capri Suns, Rectal Rangers 3D, and Unbelievable Boss. And all of them have four wins, three losses, uh, uh, one time. In the seventh in the blue division, we have Capy Barras with three wins, five losses. Drift's shitty team with two wins, five losses, and one tie. And I really like that team name, by the way. It is amusing. Uh, sorry. So Nuclear Bombs with one win, six losses, and one tie. Four points. Oh, sorry, Tom. I, I think it's uh, pronounced Sinuclear, not Sinuclear. So, say that again. Sinuclear. Sinuclear? Sinuclear. Sinuclear. <laughs> this is challenging for my Asian town, buddy. <laughs> very, very difficult. <laughs> Sorry to trip you up, Tom. So nuclear. <laughs> there we go. So nuclear. There we go. We got it. We got Ooh. it. With a one and six record, Sanuku is stretching himself thin there. And for the last place in the blue division, as well as the last place in the entire league, we have Liberty Caps, zero, seven, and one. Negative 44 point differential, they really need to do something amazing to you know, salvage the rest of the season. Top, I believe, what is it the top six teams in every division move on to the I playoffs? Think, I think that's right, same as the you know, uh, major league and minor leagues. That is actually a pretty, I feel like that is a, I wouldn't say harsh, but it is not a lenient cutoff for obviously Tag Pro, to be honest. Yep, yep. Why don't you bring us through the red division, Trova? 
sort of thing. All right, in first place in the Red Division, we've got the Nevermores, whose game we are featuring today. Uh, they have a 7-1 and one record with no losses, 21 points overall, with a plus 20 cap, dif plus 20 cap differential. Next is Odie Balfa, another high-quality team with a 6-2 and two record, rated 4th in the NLTP. The Make Balleas with another 6-2 and two record, uh, with a plus 21 cap differential. Then we've got Tag Reflex, another 6-2 and two team. Red, red Division, pretty stacked. High-quality teams. Tag Reflex, of course, the game featured uh, right now with a 6-2 and two record, uh, with a plus 16 cap differential. Incrediballs, in 5, with a 5-3 and three record, with a minus 5 cap differential. They must have blown out their wins and blown out their losses. It happens, but they're definitely a, 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 a quality team. Uh, the Communist Soviet Ballers, 4-4, four four, 12 points, plus 6 cap, cap differential. Uh, of course, the team is cursed to win and lose half of their games. Although, I'm not sure if you call it a curse. I mean, it gets you into the playoffs, right? Maybe? It should, it should get you into the playoffs without... There's quite, there seems to be quite a big cutoff in the records between the 6th and the 7th place team for that division at the very least. Absolutely. Uh, then the Ball Busters at uh, 2 wins, 6 losses, minus 12 cap differential, 15th in the NLTP. Whose flag is it anyways? Classic name. I've always enjoyed that one. With a 2-6 and six record, minus 26 cla uh, cap differential. We got 21 Juke Streets, 1-7 record, minus 11 cap differential, 18th in the NLTP. And Juke Boxers with one win. Seven losses with a minus 49 cap differential. Yeah, ready when they are. So here we have the matchup for tonight, more in depth statistics for these two teams and on the left side we have Tag Reflex and their captains would be Just Nat who plays on the Major League Tag Pro Team Ghost Boosters and Fath who also plays on the Major League Tag Pro Team known as the Reptiles. Tag Reflex has a record of 6-2-0, and zero, the 6th place in the league and the 3rd place in the Red Division and I just want to point out that although they are doing very well right now, their caps for is 56 and their caps against is 40th, neither of which are the leaders of the, you know, like, like they're not leading those statistics, if you get what I mean. Absolutely. I know what you mean. I mean, you look for your high quality teams are going to kind of blow out just because their offense is so overpowering and their defense can keep the flag in base um, really well. But I mean, this team is a team that wins and they beat good teams too. Yeah. So, so uh, they're definitely in contention, uh, which is why we've got a good game for you today. According to Luke Moose, uh, very authoritative power rankings, he put this is this is not the standings, this is the power ranking. So he put Tag Reflex in the fourth place because they dropped one to the Incredibles last week, but their overall profile allows them to remain in the fourth place. With wins over Soviet Ballers and Incredibles, plus a sweep of the Ball Busters at 21 Juke Street, they've played very tough teams and come out on top. Oh. And with the uh, Tag Reflex today, they are going to uh, put themselves well in con to contention for first and knock the Nevermores down uh, quite a peg. But we'll see. Um, do you want to call out the Nevermores top? Ah, you go, you go ahead. Alright, so we've got the Nevermores, Team Nevermore, with one of the better uh, logos of any team, a crow, if you, got, if you can see that on stream. My stream just died, my flash player is going to hell. I've always wondered uh, who made the logo for the Nevermores, but I guess I'll ask Raven after the game's over. But anyway, so they are the first place in the Red Division, the second place in the NLTP. They have 50, they have 50 caps, which puts them in the ninth, which is lower than Tag Reflex 
considering he's fit. But for the the caps against is second in the league, and which was accurate, which is reflecting of their play. So it seems that they have a very strong defense, and that is what's putting them through, even though they're not making as many caps as some other teams in the league. Yep, and you, you'd hope that the Caps against would be there, but also, I mean, the alternative narrative, and I haven't seen enough Nevermore's games, is that if their offense is grabbing and holding long enough, that'll keep the Caps against down too. Yeah, yep. such a team game. But, that is very true. Yeah, but uh, showing a pretty good differential, and I mean, thirty Caps in four games—that's um, what is that? 160 minutes of Tag Pro, only giving up 30 caps. I'd, I'd call that good by any measure. I want to say a uh, shout out to people in the Twitch chat right now. Looks 20 like viewers, woohoo! Oh yeah, we've got number one baller, Nikoba with his old news, and RK. What's going on, RK? How you guys like it so far? Guys. Will CB Texan play though? I saw him on earlier, and he's expected to be up in the lineup tonight. He's another Diamond brother. Shout out to the Diamonds in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, diamonds are bust, man. Diamonds are bust. What else is there but Diamonds? rock right right i think so it, it is the hottest rock it's Thanks certainly God. one of the most expensive even if that is an artifact price by telling so, that to uh to my girlfriend the likely lineup or this is the roster for tag reflex we're not gonna read through all of the names you can see that for yourself so the projector starters would be Bongo for defense and Fu Ice with him. Legion Ogum for offense and CB Texan 04 for offense. So I want to talk about CB Texan. He is supposed. Okay, so he was. Um, I think he was picked up twice, uh, two weeks ago or something like that. And um, he has been performing very well in the B team training for that team and, and it is possible that he will see some minutes but um it is more likely that legion's normal offensive partner will be joining him for the majority of the minutes and yep. bongo is bongo and full wise will definitely be starting for defense for tag reflex bongo is a very capable player he is able to swing both ways so it is the, the captain Naz told me that it's possible that he they will, he'll make some lineup changes if things don't work out. And um, Bowtie, which is the first name in the left side, he uh, he's probably moving on to bigger and better things. So and it's possible that his team would you know like let him play a half or two like as his swan song as a way of saying. Yep. And Tag Reflex right now, I'm just looking at their Mumble channel. They've got about 12 people in there. Looks like the whole team showed up to uh, ready to cheer their teammates on. That's what you look for in a team is uh, who shows up, who plays, who practices, who uh, who's there when it counts. Fez claims that his team culture is 420 plays it, but I don't believe it. <laughs> it seems, it seems like, like seems more likely that they are, as you say, they practice, they're competitive, and they're serious. Yep, Nads and Fez, a couple of uh, guys that know how to get it done. And it uh, doesn't surprise me at all that they've got a team performing well. They've got a lot of uh, wisdom, good strategy, skills to impart on these, uh, on these players, and I'm not surprised at all that they're using it. Looking through this list of names, I'm not. I've seen some of these guys, not all of them. They might be moving back to the titles, like the record screen. Is Ola still staying uh, active in his NLCP team?
So right now we have on screen the lineup and I mean the roster and the lineup for Nevermore. On we have the projector starters for defense we have VC and let's for offense we have Helen Keller and Neka Lotta. I believe that Neka Lotta is one of the Eastern European languages for Sambal. I am not too sure. Someone someone in stream might be able to correct me on that. I know I can't. <laughs> and uh, BC is I played with BC quite a bit on Centra. He is a pretty talented defender and very willing to play contain. And he is also pretty new to the NLTP, I believe. It, it is, this is this is this is DC's first game since being picked up as free agent, and his captain promised me that he is a solid defensive player and will get a lot of returns. So we will look out for that in game. Oh really? So he's a he's a recent addition to the NLTP. Yes, he is. I've seen this guy around for at least six six months, but not in a competitive setting. All right. Well, I'm glad he finally uh, took the plunge and joined in. Someone corrected me in at that Nekalota is Bosnian for a ball. Huh, interesting. And we are quickly approaching the schedule time for this game. Do we have a group link? So right now we already have some of the players in the group ready and red team that would be Legion, Stella, Bowtie, that would be Tag Reflex. Stella is the alternative defensive partner for four wise or Bongo I believe. Yeah. So last I had the I had the fortune of spectating uh, Tag Reflex against team was it the incredible boss and it was a very close split and Bongo and Legion, Legion especially stood out a very strong flag carrier he had some very good juice and very good decision making I hope that he managed to carry this into the, this matchup Seems like that the full. Let me check my cheat notes right now to make sure I don't get the lineup wrong. So right now the teams are getting ready and they're setting up. The shuffling for shuffling positions and I. It looks like. Not too sure which team is gonna be blue right now. Okay, it seems that um, the Nevermores. No, not correct. Both High and Legion are not on the same team. They are? Confused. Sorry, my bad. So, Tag Reflex is gonna be red for this game, and um, Nevermores is gonna be blue. For so the lineup that is starting the first half of game one for red team it will be Legion of Bloom on offense with Bowtie and Bongo and Stella on defense. And for the blue team, Nevermores, we will have BC and Nekalota on defense with BC and Buzz on defense with Nekalota Helen Killer offense. Right now, the coach of Tag Reflex claimed the readiness of his team.
Oh man, this is getting exciting. We are having 20 viewers. Hello guys. with the pregame shenanigans. I never see uh, much high quality uh, content ever set in the pregame. Usually just uh, idle talk about the weather. You can tell both teams are ready to play and ready to go. So, how's the weather today, Shobo? Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Sun's out, you know. What about for you, Tap? So what do you think the teams are going to emphasize today, Tops? Do you think it's going to be uh, power-up control? It's pretty critical on this map with only three. You're going to see some good boosting, some good uh, some good gates on Blastoff. I feel that Blastoff as a map is... Um, they have the, the base is actually really defensive. It is not easy to get free at all without a bomb or a power-up. However, the map itself is very... It's pretty chasey. The sense that um, a good flag carrier may not be able to bring the flag home for the score, but he was probably going to be able to stay alive for a very long time. I feel like this is a reasonably balanced map in terms. I can't say this favorite in terms of offense or defense, mm -hmm. but um, this power of control and the mid power of control will be very important. Mid is slightly hard to contest for because it is in the middle of spikes and in the middle of a boost lane. But um, whichever team manages to acquire more attack rolls and rolling bombs will probably be able to come up on top. Yep. All right, we're off. I am pretty excited to see this matchup. I am rather surprised that this map did not make Major League, but made an LTP because this is one of the better maps to have come up in the recent map threads. Absolutely. Shout out Noobkin for making a, something a lot of people are enjoying. It's got, it's got a lot of things you like to see. It's got gates, it's got power-ups, it's got some nice uh, bomb buttons, team boosts, and almost like a mini Holy Sea in the middle. Exactly. Very fast pace, very, very fast paced map, which makes for enjoyable viewing. Yeah! All right, and they're off. All right, both teams carrying the flag. Bowtie wants to score, but there's three ahead of him. I think we've already this. Uh, we've already seen that this is going to be Chasey. Stella and Bongo, the chasers right now, trying to get a hold of the Bosnian ball. And they're able to take him down, but Helen Kelly's there for the re-grab. Chooses to go top. Stella and Bongo playing kind of a soft contain. I have to say that I am slightly surprised that both teams let the flag out of base right off the bat, though. It is not something that you really want to be doing, but hold that thought. Oh! DC is a beautiful bomb return. Yeah. Helen Killer gets in there and uh, unfortunately you bring yourself into base and then sometimes you've got to turn right back around. But if you commit so much, uh, hoping for the fortunate uh, death of the rival flag carrier, sometimes you might not be able to get out of the base. Oh, Bongo looking for a, a boost and to the bomb, but that those bombs are gone. And obviously, he had no boost lane. Still the bongo. Good D. Legion of Boom waiting out top left, but... Okay. Nicolapta is able to escape up top. Blue having... I feel that red is... Until about 20... Old red was holding the advantage in this as They were denying the blue... Good, uh, good opportunities to get the flag free, but right now it's once again all up in the air. This map 
I feel that the best tactic would be to have two people chase, one person regrab and one person carrying the flag. And which is not a problem, but then that makes resetting a problem. You have to coordinate your resets. One of the defenders will say, okay, I'm gonna cover the top side of the map. The other guy says, I'm gonna cover the bottom side, something like that. Oh. Stella, nice return for Stella, and they're almost able to get a regrab. Yeah, I think it'll come down to flight carries. They want to stay out of the base to give their guy a clean regrab because if they can't, oh, and we might have a reset here. If you can't get a clean regrab, then you're back into the defensive struggle. And now Buzz is coming into base, uh, but he's got three ahead of him and not a lot of good ways in. Then nice he's able to kill a guy. Yep. Is he gonna go for the boost? Oh, he was gonna give it a shot, but he just gets picked off. That one wants out of base, but it's all right. Both teams able to achieve a reset at the seven minute mark. Let's see if we can maintain it longer this time. Yep. I feel like without, I, I still hold by my opinion that it should not be easy to get out of base on this map. All right, Bowtie's free. He's got a boost lane. Can he get down in time? No, Helen Killer gets him. Maybe he wishes he hit that uh, boost just a little bit, so uh, just a little bit lower. It's hard when when it's uh, fast contain. Oh, this boom. is looking very promising. Nicely done. BC set that up with uh, some good uh, gate work. Ha made him go around and he was unable to get in front of him. Shows very good awareness. Oh, and Helen is cornered. Now you got Neca. His juke juice just runs out, but he's able to split him off the back wall. Legion with a boost from behind and clips him. Uh, that whole diagonal from base to base is. So dangerous for a flag carrier. This is why this map is never lacking in action though. Because of those boosts that bring you from one side to the other without much obstacles, it allows you to be able to cross the base and get into the thick of the action even if you just die. Yep, you can be right back into position quickly. Right. Helen Killer's gonna pick up Juke Juice with an opportunity here. Three ahead. Bongo waiting for Snipe. Pulls the trigger, misses. Bowtie is gonna be free out of base. He's gonna be hanging out there with only NECA to beat. Oh, he has to boost back, but it's right in the buzz. Legion is clear out of base. Flag's not in there though, so he's playing patiently. Oh, that's a good thing. gets a rather return on Helen Killer. I think Helen must be scratching his head right now. Bowtie, poised for regrab. Helen gets out of base using the bomb. That bomb, it doesn't look like the most effective. Uh, or it's not overpowered, but it sure seems to work a lot. You know what I mean? I totally know what you're talking about. Um, It, it seems very important to keep a timer on that bomb. Because, because it is not. It is very easy to defuse. It is. There's a low risk way of defusing it. Yep. And um, oh, Helen, make it out with three people behind him. Beautiful moves. Both teams seem to. Uh, both teams' defense seem to be taking a little bit of a respite from chasing the players because they are trying to secure their power ups. Yep, you need two chasers right now, and Bongo is... Right now you got Stella only, and Stella's never going to catch the Helen Killer by by herself. Yep. Oh, Helen's going back into base, and this is the dangerous part. If you ever go back into the base that you grab the flag from and you're able to get tagged, it makes re-grab a lot harder for your teammate. Who Stella wanted to bomb up to return Helen Killer, who finds a spike instead. Helen's staying alive. He has... This is... Like I said, it's by no means a difficult map to survive on, but he is doing a particularly good job of it. And right there, Stella cuts the corner and gets him to it. This could be dangerous. Oh, it's too bad Legion wasn't able to get that low. He had two blockers set up for him and might have been able to pull something off. Bongo diverts on the chase to grab a juke juice. Tag pro on the base. We haven't seen too many tag pros so far, have we, Top? Not very much. Uh, one of them was not used effectively. Oh, oh Bongo. Bongo! Great save. Helen Killer's got Flag Pro coming in, but just about three ahead. Nice block! Oh, Neka loped up with a very nice block that leads to a cap. No hesitation from Helen Killer. He really trusts his teammates to get him the block. 
Absolutely. He, he never hesitated outside of base. He was just making progress towards base, and the, uh, the situation just got nice for him in there. And just like that, 3-0 for the Nevermores. They are blowing this game apart right now, but the fast map, fast pa bleh, excuse me, fast paced map on like this, it is no, no surprise to be honest. Tripping over my tongue a little bit in my excitement. Those are a really nice couple of caps. We haven't seen a single walk in here. I mean, all of these are kind of have been contested. Helen Keller or Helen Killer with an opportunity right here. Keeps the rolling bomb alive, and he's going to have a very nice chance. Oh, but Legion grabs it just in time. They teach him not to grab too too often when the other uh, team has the flag, but I think that was the right time for it and gets a kiss out of it. And now Bowtie brings it in from the bottom, making it just a 1-3 game. Return cap for the tag reflect, and I think they really needed that to stop the bleeding. Yep. It always feels Me? nice to get on the board. I have to point out that there must have been some confusion. There was three offensive players running towards the opponent base in the form of Bongo, Legion, and um, Bowtie. That was... Stellar is a decent defender, a great defender in fact, but um, it is unrealistic to expect her to hold down the fort with only one person. Yeah. That's tough anytime. 2v1. Oh, Neca clips the spike. If he made it out there, that would have been a cap. One of the best ways uh, uh, to get a return here is to is to use either the snipes or the bomb. You know, if you're trying to play double contain, it's hard to close them off eventually, as, we, as we've seen a few times. Bowtie coming in. Great blocks by the killer and Legion there. Just like that, 2-3. Still in the favor of the Nevermores, but uh, Attack Reflex must be feeling a lot better about himself right now. Yep, yeah, way to keep it close. Your offense is finally hitting. Great block by Neko Lopta right there. Smart play. This map does bear a lot of resemblance to Holy Sea in the sense that a good offense can be a good defense by carrying the flag for a very long time. DC, great chasing skills, makes the turn better and is able to get back on D quickly to see if he can throw a block for Helen Killer. Oh, but waiting in the boost lane is always treacherous. Stella going flag pro. Has a bunch beat, but Nekalopta has the flag and is staying alive with flag pro of his own. Helen, trying to take that boost shot. My apologies, it seems that I'm gonna need to restart my computer. <laughs> no worries. I'll we're, be uh, right back. Yep, we're right at halftime. Should be alright. Alright, and it ends 3 2. And for some reason, I can't bring up the escape menu to look at stats. Range. It is 3-2 for the Nevermores. Pretty close first half, nicely played. Every cap on there deserved. Good use of power-ups. Shout out to the people on Twitch right now. If you, we'd love to hear your comments, so if you've got something to say, make yourself known. Swing, I think we got top back. I think he said he's up in um, up in route. All right, 
Hey Top, that was a quick reset. So what just happened there was that I got way too excited about the game and I did not move my mouse, so my computer went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> as, as my screen turned black, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> nice. Well, it's a pretty good game. I mean, that was really hard fought. Uh, we've seen some pretty good flag carrier moves. It seemed they know just the time to attack, too. That was very impressive flag holding on both sides for both teams. What I would like to see is them buckling down more on defense and then trying to keep the flag home because I have seen games on this map that looks like boombox. People cannot get out of the base, it is difficult to score because there's always offensive defense presence. So I, it is possible, this game is, this map is possibly played a different way and I would like to see that. Yeah, just a, a butterfly flaps its wings and you know we might see a primarily defensive game for this next half. Huh? It doesn't look like they're doing any player substitutions. Oh wait, no, we do have... Is Marquise in? Yep, Marquise is a defender, I believe. Okay. Marquise is... Let me check my cheat notes again. Marquise is a substitute defender for Tag Reflex. So, they have... Tag Reflex has three, four defenders that like likely start. start. Uvais, Bongo, Stella, and Marquise. And after a quick substitution, it seems that both teams are about ready and we are going to hop into our second half of the game, the first game. Alright, we've still got a close game. Anything can happen at this point. I mean, one cap in this map is nothing that can happen in the space of five or six seconds if you let your guard down. Yep. Uh, both? Uh, the Nevermore? The Nevermore was doing well at first um, to keep the to keep that cool. So when they when Hack Reflex got the train on them, they did panic and they managed to recover from it. Yep. And Hack Hack Reflex is ready. Yeah. Here we go. All right, and we're off. To be frank, I'm not surprised that neither team made major adjustments to their lineup. Both of them are extremely, like both teams performed pretty well last game. There was not much time for power control because the flag was always out of base, but they still managed to do a reasonably good job, like um, prioritizing power control over chasing as long as they had a re-grab, which I feel like is a very smart tactic, so props to both teams' coaches for, you know, uh, drilling a game plan, game plan into them. Yeah, absolutely. It seemed like the, the chasing defenders were always the people to get to the power-ups. And when the chasing defenders get the power-ups, then you sometimes can, uh, then they're not used, sometimes there for offense. We also did see quite a few flag pros. Oh, and Bowtie unfortunately gets a spike, but Legion of Boom is there to just tag the flag carrier. That was, that was really, really close. That was almost a close shot. Nekalopto, uh wanted to make a, another quick attack there, but by that time our, our pace had slowed down. And uh, they were well positioned to stop him. Ooh, Legion of Boom! Legion. Now that, Sneak past that is that boost bomb combo that you look for. Uh-huh. Snuck right past him in. and was able to attack really, really quickly. To be fair, I feel that there was a slight uh, misposition on Nagalota's part when he was... He should be standing in that tunnel, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know where he's going to bomb off of and go hit there. And sometimes when you're standing there, you think like, oh yeah, I'm in position to block him if he comes in here. 
a, the speed of that bomb boost can be really deceptive, and they can just sneak by you faster than you can hope to react. There it is, hit that's hard. Oh, and NECA grabs with the flag, probably didn't mean to. Helen Keller gets out, but doesn't have a Tag Pro lead, but now does have a Tag Pro in base, and if can get into base by Helen, oh no, but shut down by Marquise. Clutch return right there. Yep. You want to fight the tag, uh, the flag carrier outside of base and not in base when they got that Tag Pro. NECA can't make that turn, Marquise is there to, to chase him down. Nice, my very nice time by Paul. Oh. Yeah, well, snipe is the best returner. There's lots of different snipe angles here. A lot of ways to go kind of through the spikes in different angles. Ooh, Marquise with a nice snipe. You might get a reset here. Yup, Helen's unable to use the bomb to grab a flag. We got Bongo Marquise holding it down. But BC and Buzz have been doing that for the last couple minutes now. NECA waiting for power up. Bongo waiting for power up. Legion for power up. Bowtie's going to contest for it. And it's spawned. We don't know what it is yet. If Bowtie can move up a pixel, they're going to get it. Legion using the opposite Uh, Bowtie does pick it up. Nice grab by Bowtie. Tag Reflex does manage to dominate the power, but unfortunately it was three juke juices, so not much, not a lot of help there. You know, just enough to make some moves. Bowtie, uh, trying to come into base, couldn't get his teammates to uh, help him on the button and uh, boost into the red gate. All right, top, we're back to this 2v2 defensive struggle. No bombs in base, everybody's just kind of bumping around. I feel that the flag has been free significantly less in this game, and power up control has been spot on because of that. But just as we say, both high is free. Lucin, NECA, not, not about to be twice at the same, uh, same one. Unfortunately, just catches a corner, but is still in base. See if they can get out. Bago going for power up instead of chasing. And it pays off. BC's got one too, though. Legion knows this one's running late since they fought over it last time and has to leave before it can pick up the Tag Pro. Marquise is gonna get it. Two Tag Pros for blue. Bago doesn't even try to chase, just goes right to the boost to cut off a lot more options. Almost makes it pay off. Legion, trying to stay alive but can't. Oh no, Bowtie bombs through with Helen. Gets the score. We're now four to three game. Slight mental mistake by uh, Bowtie right there, being the last man back. He should not have taken the unnecessary risk. But the scores are still really, really close. And let's see if Helen can bring it home here. All right, no mid boost. But goes flag pro. We're only bomb for both sides. Okay. BC not quite able to get it. Both sides probably gonna re up on this rolling bomb. Oh, NECA. Bongo barely misses, misses NECA with the bomb attack right there. Oh, and Marquise comes up. Oh, both high scores! Yeah! That was, um, I feel, mainly credit to Marquise being able to... <laughs> Another <time. laughs> BC goes! Becoming fast and furious right now. Oh. Got the re-grab set, let's see what Keller can do. Ah, oh, catches the that boost respawn. NECA by one, by two. Coming into base, ducks Bongo. Oh, Bowtie just there to push him down. And Neca gets closed off. Helen maybe with a re-grab. Yep, gets the kill. Ah, uh, stays in place. Nicely done by Helen Killer. I noticed that his name has changed back to Helen Catter and all. Superstitious bunch, these tag pro players. BC coming in with a rolling bomb. This is a nice opportunity. Oh, Bongo gets to use. Oh, and what happened right there, Tom? <laughs> I don't know Bongo if I can comprehend that. What would have been an amazing save, but unfortunately he was taken down by someone boosting in. Feels like uh, Bongo made an amazing play, but uh, he just. The opponents just locked out and managed to get a return just as uh, Red Helen was sitting on the bottom of the flag out. Yeah. 
but still credit to Bongo for making that beautiful play. Oh, tight. Tries to go out the gate. They close behind him, though. Really close game so far as we approach the power up spawn timers. Let's see how both teams deal with this. Yep. I believe that uh, the middle part is on time and Legion Obum, Legion Obum gets it, but uh, the other two are quite a bit later. Oh, unfortunately, runs into Marquise right there. Legion Obum did a great job of getting that uh, rolling bomb and then bringing it into base and deploying it expertly. A lot of times the defense is able to uh, defuse it before you're able to come in. Exactly. Bongo comes into base and is able to run away. NECA going back into base. This could be dangerous for Neck for NECA. Oh, it right. is, but Bongo gets a nice bomb through. Yep. That was very smart by Buzz knowing that even if you don't hit the bomb, if you're there, you're going to be able to bounce out with it. Buzz wants to use a bomb and just barely stays alive, but it a lot of bad things can happen there. Has to rush into base for the death. Now we're back to something a little bit more chasey. It's only going to get more chasey with Bongo picking up a juke juice. That already avoids death. Yeah. Marquise. Oh, this could be... No, Neca is too disciplined. Bowtie sitting there fighting it again. Uh, waiting for the regrab. Helen Killer was waiting there, but gets a nice snipe. See what I mean? Helen gets the return there and then uh, is immediately out of position. Buzz, Buzz. nice grab there. Or nice uh, nice way to stop him. BC almost sneaks out. Eck is able to. Eats three. And they I block. have to say, there's some amazing offensive talents on both teams. <laughs> yeah, they're sneaking out by pixels. As they rotate, Helen Keller hanging out bottom right. Both tight sees a rolling bomb. It's not going to get it though. Legion is setting up back uh, for D. Solo D. Can't quite get the return. Are we in the tie game right now, Dap? Uh, tag. 6 4, that's right. Nevermore is leading by two points right now, and Tag Reflex needs to make something happen with one minute and 14 seconds left. Neka locked up. Oh, Marquise with a beautiful snipe. And Marquise, can he get another solo return? This could look good, but no, Helen slams the ball. Nice smart choice there. He knows he has the regrab, and he knows that his team does not need more caps. They just need to hold on to their advantage. Yep. And when you run into, uh, if you're flag carrying, you get a clean grab outside their base and their guy already made it in, it's worth kissing. Bongo might even try kiss here, yep. Well played by, smart play by both teams. Nevermore is still hanging on to the two point lead with 30 seconds remaining. I feel that, um, oh, beautiful boost by Bongo. Marquise wants he to come in, getting chased, see if he can do something. Get his shut on him. You got 20 seconds to go, so you want to give yourself a chance here. Nice! Oh! Ooh, and Buzz. Buzz with the still! Oh, Helen is gonna wish that you grabbed right now. Alright. That was difficult. Nine to seconds play. left in the game. Oh, Bo can, is coming in. Clean boost! Oh, oh, BC! That's a down. And we. But we're still one cap game. Wow! Ted Reflex tying up the second half with about five seconds. Nine seconds left to play, and oh wow, that was just such an amazing finish to a very hotly contested first game. Yeah, if that would have gone slightly differently. All right, Swing Man, what do you have planned for us for the halftime show? We get some hot cheerleaders, we get some, you know, like mascots shaking their booty or something like that. There's a dance line. Sometimes you see the a few different mascots race around the outside of the field, and you can uh, wager on them. Uh huh. Maybe a game of Mario Kart where we can uh, root for some different players. All right. Hey, what's up, Twitch people? What do you guys got going on?
for the game for Nevermore Mars, uh, I don't know. Ma I'm gonna say Marquis, he had some in Never Mars. Okay, uh... uh I saw Neko um, Lopta make some good good blocks and good plays. Helen Keller was uh, there doing what they needed. They all, I saw them all make I am moves going, there. like everyone had good moves, so I'm gonna go with BC because he saved that last cap. Yeah, BC. Because Brody, Brody, like the whole team played very well and... Oh, Nakalota gets it. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. The stream is slightly yeah. late. BC makes it, yeah. Big players make big plays uh, in big situations, and BC stops the game from getting lost with nine seconds left on the clock. No, oh, yeah, getting tied. It would feel like a loss. It would feel worse than a loss. It would feel so wrong that way. to lose two caps in nine seconds. Right before the game ends. That was an amazing finish and I'm you know, judging by how evenly matched and how skilled the players are for this game, I'm pretty sure the second half is gonna be just as exciting, if not more. Oh yeah, I'm anticipating a great second half. Although I think I think something's gotta give. Um, we're gonna see we're gonna see some action where people break apart and one team is really I think we're gonna see one team really stand out in the second half. I agree. It it will be it will be too much of a stress on my heart if they also end the second half like this. Second game, excuse me. <laughs> Swingman wisely pointing out that he did not have a boost lane. <laughs> I'll be right back. Do we know if we're using the same um, team? I mean, same same group? Okay. All right. Well, it looks like, every, looks like everybody cleared out of this group, actually. Yeah. Do you do want to go talk to them? Hey, nice. Okay, they're in Pi now. The resurgence of the player we be woo. <laughs> I wonder if he will get some game time uh, for this game. Wubi Wu is the old name of Tag Reflex player Retro, who had a pretty decent performance last week on Colors. But um, according to his coach, he was um, not very impressive when he first started the game, and he has improved so much through the four weeks that four five weeks that an LTV has been going on. Mm -hmm. I would like to see him get game time and uh, show us what he has learned. Maybe, but maybe that will happen next half. Yeah, depends how close the game is. I mean, if you're still tied, um, natural inclination is if you're playing well and if it's tied and if you just need one thing to break is to not change the formula. You know what I mean? Yep, exactly. Do you want to run through the lineups for these teams? Yeah, absolutely. Alright, it looks for, for Nevermores. Nevermores will be the blue team and they, they yep. seem to be the one to make some changes. It looks like they got Ballgates 1 in. Ballgates 1, pretty, uh, pretty solid player, played with him a few times before. Uh, they're keeping Buzz, Helen Keller, or Helen Killer, and Nekalopta. Same I'm not sure, if I'm, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, looks to be the same. Tag Reflex, uh, with the addition of Foolwise, going with Foolwise Bongo, and then the offensive Legion of Boom and Bowtie. Bowtie was, uh, was Bowtie subbed out for the second half of the last game? I thought Bowtie was still in there. 
I cannot quite remember. Um, both I played in pugs with Bowtie today, and he was extremely impressive. I have never played with this guy before, never met him before, and he was just tearing me apart on all when I was trying to check him. Yeah, uh, Bowtie I believe is a very uh, big pub player too. He's got a lot of degrees, a lot of experience in the game. Knows the maps probably inside and out because he's played on them several hundred times. Um, experience counts for a lot if you know every one of your boost angles down by heart, know how to grab, all those fundamental things that you look for. Mm-hmm. And mm. I believe that Bowtie is Jam's brother. Jam has recently been, call been called up to play minor league mm -hmm. on your team, Trouble. That's right, that's right. Jem actually got a, a chance to start for us in uh, Majors when we had uh, a couple people out with assorted sicknesses and laptop issues. Uh, she got pulled up and uh, started her first MLTP week in the, I think, in the top top 15 for GASP. Yeah. Yep, so a great fill-in. Uh, good genes, good tag pro genes in that family. And this is the start of uh, Empire. Yep. A dynasty. The gen, and gen I guy. assume that I'm gonna need some help. I need you to move out one of the players and move me into the spectator spot because I'm not in right now. All right. We've got a couple juke juices and a rolling bomb, so we're not gonna see a tag pro for the first minute. Teams are switching around, looking for better spawns. Nekalopta looks like he's got a great, uh, good attack at middle. We'll probably take it. Legion of Boom. Let's see which one of these guys can get that mid. And it's going to be Nekalopta. Grabs the flag cleanly with Rolling Bomb and is free away. Only one to beat. Oh, Bowtie. Great, uh, great button use to, to slow down a uh, really, really uh, angry first, uh, first minute attack. All right, we're down to our, to our solid defensive pairs. Helen Keller is able to get free bottom. What's Helen Keller going to do to get into base? Goes off the button, doesn't quite get the favorable bounce, kind of bounces into the corner. Getting closed down and Bongo shuts the door. NECA picks it up. Decides to go top, hesitates. Knows that it's four beat and there's only a few seconds until power ups. Let's see if NECA can uh, pick up a rolling bomb left side. Oh, but we got a kiss. Helen gets it. Helen's sitting there waiting. Wait, goes for it. Bowtie free with the rolling bomb. He came into base hoping for it, but doesn't get it. NECA is able to grab a tag pro. Bowtie staying alive in close contact with Bongo. Maybe they had a secret to tell each other. And I am back, guys. I apologize for the technical difficulties. Yeah. And here we go. So Bongo almost is able to kill Helen Keller with that snipe, but does finish it with a team boost. But it sees the opportunity by Bongo. Bowtie only two ahead. Can't quite get a juke on Ball Gates, playing solid contain, waiting for the rest of the teammates. Red does have a rather advantageous situation right now, though. They have a re-grab train set up, and can Ball Gates stop the side? Okay, he forces he forces the red flag carry to a corner enough for them to reset it. All right, power ups are up, and. Egg reflex. That's a nice combo. Bowtie. Oh! Great move by Bowtie. Great knowledge, knowing exactly how to hit that team boost into the bomb. I was wondering how much he's calling out to team. <laughs> Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I blast off? Can I blast off? I want to blast off. I didn't see if they cleared the lane on purpose. You know, sometimes you can kind of block them out. Because they were close by, but none of them were got in the way. He managed to slip through the blue defense between NECA and Buzz, I believe. That was rather impressive. Bongo's, Bongo's playing pretty well so far. I've seen really solid D off of Bongo, keeping it in base and then returning it when it does get out. All right, they're fighting for power-ups. NECA's going middle. Legion's keeping ball gates blocked out. 
Great job by Legion here on that duel and is rewarded with a Juke Juice. Tag Pro comes up for NECA. Left power up's running very late right now. NECA's coming on offense with Helen Killer. See what Nevermore's can get going with this Tag Pro. NECA chasing him around. Helen picks it up. Ooh, Bongo overcommits, but comes back just in time. Helen Killer is free. Three beat. This is a great scoring opportunity. Ball Gates, assisted by Buzz for a nice block. They're able to tie it up. That That's more just evens yeah. it up. Yep. That's classic, uh, classically well played. Nothing too map specific about that. Just nice blocks and flight care bringing it in. Necker, I'm not sure if you know this. Necker tried to use the blast off again and just ends up being passed because it was not available. Oh no. No boost there lane. There was no boost lane. No boost lane. So for, for the viewers who are not in know of this inside joke, can, can you explain it to us, Robo? Actually, I'm one of the confused viewers. Can you explain it to me? <laughs> <laughs> so what happened, I believe, was um, Stalin during a game on Danger Zone. He was uh, boosting into base with no one particularly near him. He took the boost in an extremely strange angle and ended up popping himself on the spikes in his own base. And his, apparently his uh, reasoning for that why that happened was that he had no boost lane. Is that my correct Swingman? <laughs> Swingman has just confirmed that I... Mech is able to bring that one in. So nowadays we use that phrase to mean that uh, an offensive player makes a really dumb boost and is trying to find yeah. an excuse for it. No, oh, there, was, there was just no boost lane there. That's Yeah, I did the best that I could. Right. <laughs> Ball Gates overcommits into a spike. Unfortunate. Helen Keller with some nice jukes, but can't escape Bongo. Oh, this could be treacherous. Still treacherous with the rolling bomb. And now 3-beat, 2-beat, but 2v1. Could be big trouble, and it is. Game's tied. Nevermore's tag up. reflex. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. almost another one. Just un unlucky with that bomb knocking everybody into the boost lane. In that time, there truly was no boost lane. Bongo coming in on offense. It's... Botai makes the grab, Bongo. They're gonna go tag pro lead bottom. Blue? I don't know, are they gonna look to grab here? Oh, Botai splits off from his uh, tag pro. And now it's gone. Opportunities fleeting like dust in the wind. Botai coming in, oh wow. That is wide open walk in. I don't know why Botai took his time right there. There's too many boosts around to mess with that one. I feel that um, it is not easy to lead someone with a tag pro on this map because of the presence of the boosts. Yeah. All, all of the boosts point towards base, so if you don't, if you let the tag pro take the boost, the tag pro ends up too far away from the flag carrier. If you let the flag carrier take the boost, obviously that's not gonna work. But hold that thought. Kiss. Yes, yes. Kiss. Yes. Good so, Really great offensive chemistry between uh, Helen Keller and Neca right in there. I saw. They, they, were, they made the proper block to be able to try to spring the guy from uh, from the base. That didn't work out, so then they set up for the regrab immediately. I mean, it was it was just really great presence of mind. It was a really nice block, and when that didn't work, switched right away uh, to regrab. Shows a lot of practice and um, a lot of very, a lot of chemistry. You don't unless you're really unless. It's, it doesn't happen often that two players have very good offensive chemistry without a ton of practice. Yep, absolutely. And some of these NLTP guys, I see playing. I see them playing more tag pro than a lot of majors and minors people. That is true. They're new to the game. They like every second of it, and you know they're they just play for the fun of it. Bowtie's got it. Oh, tag pro leads into the base. This could be trouble, but Buzz is right there in a great position. Neca overcommits and might pay a penalty for it. Yep. Bowtie with a cap and tag reflex up by two. Just like that. Yep, fool wise way to get into position. Bongo unable to make the grab on NECA. Right, Buzz has got a tag pro in base, busting it up. They're running around. Nevermore is showing an extremely flexible, a very strong flexibility in their lineup in the sense that Buzz, who is normally a defender, it could, takes on the role of offense while because he has a tag pro. While you know, Neca Lopta stays back in base for the defense. Yep, and he did a, just a great job with that tag pro yep. too. 
efficient use of power-ups. Alright, they sped up, but they're not getting juked by Legion. They split up. Yep, that's textbook defense by Buzz and Paul Gates right there. If we have any new players watching, I just want to stress that um, defense, a lot of it is about patience. Sometimes you cannot get attacked right away. You have to be happy just containing your opponents. Yeah, knowing that you'll get the tag as long as you just kind of stay in position and slowly tightening the noose uh, around them as you move them more towards the corner. Ball gates and Buzz, hanging out, playing some D. All right, Legion's got a nice rolling bomb. I've seen Legion use the rolling bomb nicely a couple times. And free away top. Boost lane is there. Oh, and kind of chooses the compromise between the two best options and pays the price for it. Brings himself to the corner and Bongo kisses. Not sure what he, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad decision, but I'm not sure what why he did that exactly. Oh wow! Great Tanner snipe. snipes bow tie out of the air. That should make the highlight reel, without a doubt. So oh, is that a, a, a counter snipe? A snipe on a, a snipe on a boost? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love when those happen. The oh, Legion sneaks by Buzz. That's some great jukes right there. Just right squeezing in between the wall, but then Buzz ultimately gets revenge, boosting in at one tile distance. Bongo, not quite able to get out. Alan Keller's got it, he's gonna go re-grab with the rolling bomb. Let's see if NECA goes aggressive here, knowing that they've got a good re-grab option. Or is Alan Keller gonna come into base and try to assist? Oh! Three, and two, runs one. into the own flag carrier. All right, and it's 4-2 tag reflex. Bowtie with all four caps for tag reflex. Very back and forth half for this, uh, very back and forth half this was. I'm talking like Yoda, okay. Yeah. Oh, they both had opportunities. Um, we we saw both chasing, both locked down in D. That was a really balanced half. Uh, Tag flag reflex just manages to come out on top. I would be. It would be very. Let's see if they can keep this up and then manage to split the series against the Nevermore. Mm hmm. Both teams really desperately want to win both games, um, or at least split here. Every game counts. I mean, the uh, the situation in, in their division, what, 7-1, and then three teams at 6-2? Mm -hmm. They're going to be fighting for that uh, for the first round by uh, both of these teams here th throughout, and the win here might be enough to buy them a buy. Remind me again, Trovo, the top four teams get a buy? I, I believe it's top two get a buy. Ah. See, um, I'd, I'd have to go with Bowtie for the sake of four caps in that one. None of those caps are that easy to get. Um, and Bowtie did a great great job of executing on it. Good power up use and also played really great support offense. So most value ball, I'd probably give the Bowtie. Nevermore is, I really liked what... Um, like a lot of time, in my opinion. Nekalupta played solid. Great, great mental game. Um, did Neka end with uh, how many caps? One, or was it... I think it was one cap, cap, right? I think so. To be honest, it's really difficult to call for either team because, well, Bowtie had a standout performance in that half, but um, many of them were also due to stellar blocking and defense from his own team. Neither of this team have seemed to have any weak links in it. Just, um who is performing better in that particular 10 minutes. Really hard to call, in my opinion. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's quite a bit easier uh, quite a bit easier to call, you know, when you see one guy excelling, making some great jukes and everything, but I, we've seen great, great blocks, great maneuvers made by uh, just about everybody on, on all the teams. Beautiful snipes too. The the one that Buzz made, oh, that was just oh, someone needs to make that into a GIF. Oh, that's so hard to do. I mean, not only do you need to get the angle right, you know, the angle has to be perfect, um, but then the timing of it is, I mean, just pixels. Yep. 
it is very easy to look foolish when you try something like that. The opponent fakes you into the boost. You take it too early, you take it too late, you take it wrong angle, you end up in a spike. But, you know, for those moments that the magic happens, all the hard work isn't worth it. Oh, yeah. I need to go revisit that thing and hope somebody makes it into a GIF for you, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure Buzz would want to keep a copy for himself, you know, just to tell his grandchildren about it. Alright, it looks like, oh yeah, the grandchildren, make it an heirloom, pass it down to the great, <laughs> great grandchildren. Jeff exactly. will, Jeff will be the lithograph of our generation. Uh huh. Alright, no substitutions for either team. They liked what they were doing and they want to make it, they want to uh, repeat it and hope it falls their way. Both With such there. close games, I would not want to carry the lineup to be honest. Yeah, not unless you were saving something. Shout out to the Twitch chess. Sorry, my my shockwave player keeps crashing, so I can't see too many more than too many of the comments. We are back into the game. Twitch chat making a very astute observation that both high is definitely gonna get picked up by their major league captain soon. And I cannot say that I disagree. He is playing out of his mind right now. Absolutely. Every time I look, Bowtie's got the flag and is running around with it. Um, staying alive and then attacking when it's key. I just... Knowing when to attack is so hard and Bowtie really seems to have that skill down. Alan Kelly. Yeah, yeah sorry couple. about that. We were talking about the same thing. Oh, yeah. Alright, both teams got a tag pro. Helen Keller is able to make a grab on too with just the threat of a tag pro. Oh, and leads in a boom. It's a nice return there. That was pretty clutch. NECA's got flag pro coming in, but both high able to get in front. Helen's got re grab. Cool wise and Bongo are chasing. Let's see how they uh, try to try to cut him down here. Bongo just playing solid prevent gets the return. Players are now complaining about packet loss, and I'm seeing it on my screen too. I wonder if there's going to be a timeout called or what's. Let's see how they deal with this. Bowtie's gone, three beats. That's of NECA is bad. Do you see that boost that Bowtie just hit right there? Right off uh -huh. that kind of soft wall? That's that's a, a great way to go. See, he knew the situation that he was in where he wants to kind of just sit and wait on the flag for something to happen. Sits there, waits for just a second, and then decides to move on. It was good. Uh, he was just going through a checklist. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, Legion just in front. Gets the return and the grab. Bombs away, but somebody's there to meet him. Pretty lucky for Buzz there because he was definitely off screen. And oh, Helen is off right now. Oh, bad boost by Bowtie. Oh, good thing Fool Wise is right there where it counted. That blast off led to two quick claps in the last three halves. I I think that they're about to they're gonna become smarter about it and not let the opponents use those um, blast offs in such a comfortable fashion. Yep. And then the way to reverse on that nice return by Fool Wise is that when you're, uh, if the flag carries out of base and you don't quite know where they are, and you're covering, and you got to kind of cover that side, when they come in another side, it, it catches you a little bit by surprise. And we've got a kiss. See if Fool Wise and Bowtie can get a grab here, but Tag Pro's in the base. Oh, oh, this is looking very for the Nevermores. They've got two Tag Pros, one on D and one on O. Let's see if Helen Keller can get the grab with the Juke Juice and gets away. He's gonna have plenty of time. Oh, so much Bongo time. I mean, those... all the time in the world. Bowtie walks into the spike right there. <laughs> Perhaps a little bit panic from the tag reflex players, but they have the opportunity to stop the bleeding. Let's see how they deal with the situation. Buzz coming in. Off the bottom wall. Nice play by Buzz. And Wonderful really blocking. Yeah, you know, in really hot pursuit and, and knew exactly that he needed to go off the bottom wall there. And just like that, they... So they almost tied this half, tied this game up with two caps. Wow, what an exciting game. Great, great choice of game. This is it. NLTP at some of its most superb. A very nice turn there. Both high su suffering, seems to be suffering from major lag issues. What is the substitute rule for NLTP? Because I would not like to see this such a wonderful game be, you know, crippled by yeah. network issues. Yeah, be 
derailed by that nonsense. All right. And Fool Wise closes the door, but Neca gets the grab and is free with Rolling Bomb. Legion is also free, though, and it's a good thing. Yep, Legion cuts back, knowing that the he can probably see the enemy flag here and sees that it's got Rolling Bomb, knows that there's no point in going into base right now. Uh-huh. Right. Legion with the moves. Nice jukes. I thought he might have been before. But he runs around, keeps himself alive. Jukes butts in the spike in the process, making everything look easy for him. That's inside there. Oh, Ball Gates knew he was coming. Great setup by Ball Gates there. Oh, can't quite get the snipe he wants. He wanted to aim a little high. Not quite able to get it. But now he might be able to fill in for D. <laughs> Helen Keller. Smart play there. Going for flag. Oh, Helen Keller and teammates bumped against each other, and that's gonna hurt him there. Bowtie gets a grab. Helen Keller with a nice counter grab, though. Helen Keller and oh. Buzz both wanted to use the same boost, and it kind of none of them pulled back, and they, and, uh, they both end, one ended up dead and one ended up out of position. Oh, great block by Buzz allows Helen Keller to grab it. They're running away with it now. Ball Gates, this re-grab chain just keeps working. Never more showing a dominant second half, but right now the score is still only one apart. Tag reflex, I mean, Nevermore's leading by one right now. Five minutes to play though, and you know, if uh, Nevermore's continue this. Oh, Bongo with a beautiful one play! What a fantastic move right there. Going 1v1, using the bomb for the advantage and able to come into base with it. Buzz with a cab right back! Wow! Oh my goodness! Just smart, wow. smart play by Buzz there. Knew that he he had uh, that there was very few defenders in base and went for it. Legion unable to use his rolling bomb. Helen Keller gets the juke juice. Buzz comes back on D. Legion somehow surviving there. Three very determined chasers. But he gives it over to Bowtie, who's free now, and has two beats. Pulls back. Legion's got a re-grab, but now Helen Keller gets away with the Juke Juice. Let's see if Bongo can full wise can corner this Juke Juice. Very nice D, and it's gonna pay off for him. Nicely done. We're at a tie game, right, Tom? Yep, we are, and oh, wow! Bowtie with a beautiful blast return. The pace of the second half of the second game is starting to become truly frantic. Both teams pulling out everything, try and make an advantage for themselves here. And well, in the meantime, they are not making the smartest plays sometimes. But it does make such a this this frantic pace is really good for viewing. This it's really good for watching. Yeah, this is really fun tag pro to watch right now. Helen Keller, oh. You had a, a, a 3v1 or a 2v1 in base. Oh, wow. Legion, Legion. Gets a Legion. Wow. And just like that, this, it's 5 to 5, 3 minutes left to play. Tag this Reflex still up by 2. God, this, this has gone every different direction so far. This is the beautiful of this game. Uh, this is the beauty of this game. Yeah, um, I knew it was all it was all going to go hard at one time. I called it in a, in a half. Something's got to give. Oh, Legion. Wait, that wasn't Legion. That was um, Bowtie. He's running too fast. Just barely catches that spike. Helen Keller now bringing some uh, some kind of pace to this game. Smart of Helen Keller there. You want to go for that uh, rolling bomb, but as soon as you know you're beat, you don't want to pay the price of letting the other uh, flag carrier get the return on you. Now it's a juke juice. Yep. Oh, smart move by Bowtie. And it's gonna pay off. We're down to a one cap game. Okay. Oh, it's two now? Okay. Three, sorry. Daramos would really do well to keep one of the players on the re -grab, I feel. Many times, um, the flag carrier dies for Daramos, and there's no one near the base, even without a tag pro in the opponent's base. Five players scoring caps so far. Buzz with two, Legion of Boom with three, Helen Keller with three, Bongo with one, and Bowtie with two. Buzz with two caps and uh, nine returns, having a great game for Buzz.
Mecca can't quite finish off. Buzz gets in front, but Legion's got a juke juice and is going to be able to get into base. Pulls back though. Now this is an opportunity here. Rolling bomb. Looking very, very good indeed. Oh, he used, deploys it. Bongo and Foolwise went to go block their respective partners and had good blocks. Helen oh. finds a tank though, so there should not be a cap. Uh, I feel like Helen should not be coming to chase. He should be the one who is sitting in their enemy base because he is basically unblockable. Uses the tail end of the tag pro to make him get a grab there. Now we're also running out of time to recaps. 40 seconds. Is the previous half showed us uh, the previous game showed us that was definitely possible, but um, right now they need to focus on returning both eyes. It'll be hard to return with tag pro nearby. Oh, we turn for time. cap right here. Full eyes can cut down Helen. A bit bongo. They need his assistance. All right, and I think both flag carriers are going to stay alive. Oh wow, Neko, great button work there. Could have got ugly very quickly. Three, two, one. All right. All right, and they're finishing off with Buzz with two captures, Legion of Boom with three, Helen Keller with three, Bowtie with two, and Bongo with one. Bowtie with some leg that game, still turned in a decent performance. <laughs> Pretty evenly dispersed game, very frantic uh, game right there. That was fun to watch. The, the situation just changed on a dime, didn't it, Top? It totally did, and that is... Oh, such, there were so many at the big, at the, in the middle of that cap run by Tag Reflex. There were just so many... It could have turned out differently so many times. Maybe a couple of degrees the left or right and you know one of the chasers would not have boosted into a spike if they didn't fight over their boost at one point they would also have made it to the base right before them it was just uh, tag pro is a game that goes down to the wire sometimes and that's why i love playing it absolutely hey i'm gonna check in with my nltp team are you gonna do some interviews after the game sing all right sounds good i'll be back in just a bit i'll see you guys all right Black troll. So, Singer, who do we want to interview first? All right, are we are we gonna go into that channel, or are they or are you gonna drag them in? All right. So what we are doing is that we're gonna set up the interface for the post game, and then we are going to interview the Nevermores. Nevermore is taking the first game of they're taking the first game and Tag Reflex taking the second game. So this series ends in a split and well deserving because both teams felt to me were really evenly matched, very strong flat carriers, very pretty decent uh, no grab defense when they could make it when they, when there was no in interference from bombs or power ups and some very amazing snipes. Uh, Singman, are you on stream right now? Like, can we hear what you're saying? Okay, sweet. Oh, they can't hear what you're saying? Okay. Or the Nevermores? Uh, I would say they'll have to be... In general, um, I would have to say... Bold High for offense this is really really difficult bow tie for offense legion um bow tie for offense helen keller for offense and buzz for defense 
Yeah, we saw some pretty key plays. Wasn't there BG make a nice save in there too? BC. BC, yeah, that's right, that's right. A really well played game though. I mean, that's, that's some very top quality danger zone using uh, the buttons were used, boosts into buttons, um, power up control was nicely used, rotating players. It was pretty fun to watch. And we hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Top and Trollball with you. Uh, who are we going to be interviewing? Uh, just as PM does two minutes ago, saying that both Heim and Legion are coming in for interview. I don't know. I'm not sure if you saw that, Tringman. Hey, this is Trowball for it coming with you. Testing one two one two. Mike check one two. I am very impressed. One thing I've always wanted to use and talk about was that I was super impressed by how Tech Pro, with such a small community, has such a well functioning league. We have with the production value of the, some of the networks, some of the streaming networks for this game is superior to some esports. I'm not joking. Oh, I believe you. If you watch League of Legends or. Um... Or some of the other things. I I take our Twitch over anybody else's at any point. I mean, for the super high production quality value, like you know LCS for our league, international for the two. Of course, we can't compete with that. But you know, some of the small small tournaments I've watched, like we are beating them. Like we have better stats. We have better, we know more about the players, and you know it's just amazing. <laughs> I'm just surprised. Anyway, sorry. Please go on swing. Yep. I am okay that so both high would be the offensive player or uh actually I would say both high Helen Keller and Buzz. Maybe. I mean it's hard to say because yeah, three man says debatable and I do agree, but um it will seem kinda of weird that Nevermoss have no offensive player in that list. Okay. Hi, both high high legion. Hey, welcome to the Swing Network. We are here for the post game interview. That was an amazing performance by both of you guys. Thank you. How familiar are the two of you with um, playing with each other on offense? This was actually the uh, first time we played on offense together. So uh, I guess you can see the rust in that first game, but that second game really showed like we were able to mesh much better. I see, I see. Well, both of you have very strong individual flag carrying skills and that might, you know, sometimes when you have two very good jukers, it is very it is difficult to get them to mesh, but you guys seem to do it without too much of a problem. Are you guys satisfied with your performances? Uh, yeah. Uh, I would say we're pretty pretty satisfied. Uh, uh, Bowtie, Bowtie says no, and uh, he says not at all. I don't blame him, considering Bowtie. You get a lot of lag that uh, uh, that last half. Yeah, the lag was pretty bad. Bowtie says it's crazy. He didn't reply to Trollball's question. 400 ping and 10 pack loss. Did you manage to get a cap with that kind of ping? I believe you got two. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think I'll forecast. So, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just transcribe what Bowtie says. Bowtie says, I had 400 ping and like 10% packet loss, and then until they have four caps. Then he continues to say, it leveled out suspiciously. Hmm, making some accusations there, maybe? I, I saw a post in the subreddit that said somebody seemed to have an instant lag button. <laughs> that must be what's going on. 
Now, if somebody can flip the switch and uh, they'll just have you know whoever you are, bow tie is onto you and he will find you and he will pop you. If, he, if you actually are out there. If you're not, then never mind. But yeah, no, that was a really solid offensive effort for you guys. Legion, I saw you doing some really great things with the rolling bomb. Um, you were able to uh, grab him, get him into base, and uh, I mean, we know that this is a, a hard map to get grabs on, but um, you, your power-up control was pretty spot on. And, um, oh, yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, Bowtie, how did, how did you know when to enter base? It seemed like you held the flag for quite a bit until you finally uh, decided to come in, and it looked like you had a pretty high conversion rate there. Is there, is there a secret that we don't know uh, to, for the, the timing to choose? Okay. Yeah, were you guys communicating? Were you looking? Did you just kind of have a sense of it? I will, I'm going to transcribe for Botai right now. Botai says, I would take glances. So you'd fly by, say what's up. Try to okay. figure out where the opponents, where the opponents would be. <laughs> fly <laughs> haphazardly. Yep. I somehow I don't believe that, but um, it seemed to work out for him. Yeah, I mean, how do you know when to come in? Uh, we saw the blast off uh, caps. We saw a few of those today, right, Top? Yep. Did you so? Really on that question, did you just did you just decide to do the blast off at that moment, or was there some kind of communication between you and your team? Uh, there was, I would say, um, little to no communication, other than like how many in base. But uh, we sort of went for the blast off, and it thankfully worked out. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Exactly. Yep. Legion, how would you advise newer players on, you know, power control tends to be the biggest problem with a lot, for a lot of newer players. How would you advise uh, them, how would you advise up and coming offensive players to deal with power control? Like, do you have any uh, tips? What, what, yes. what would you do? What I personally do is, um, uh, obviously first just make sure to note mentally what time the uh, power up was taken, uh, what time, call it out to your teammates so you know they get an opportunity. And um, sort of when the game dies down and especially on a small map like this where it's hard to get grabs, power ups are so so important. So um, I guess sort of stressing it and vocally just reminding your teammates to grab as many as you can. Like there were a few instances where they I think got all three and we were just demolished at those points, so. Yeah, I saw that one time they picked up two tag pros and a juke juice, and they had a tag pro on D, a tag pro lead, and the flag carrier had juke juice. That and I think, must have been terrible to deal with. Yeah, and you can't do much about that. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all you can do is barely try to boost into him uh, from, the, from behind or something, but yeah, that's never an easy order. But a uh, really fun game to watch, guys. Very nicely played. And um, we look uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the playoffs. Thank you, appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, guys. All right, Nikolafta, Buzz, hey, how's it going, you guys? Hey, doing well, how about you? Doing great, doing great. Heck of a game you just showed us. Are you guys satisfied with the result? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of the better teams we split, so... That's a good team. Obviously, you want to win both games, but those couple of tight games, lots of fun. Yeah, most definitely. Buzz, how did you get so good? Uh, I saw you chasing a lot and just getting some nasty snipes uh, on their flag carrier. How do you practice that? Do you do that in pubs and pugs or scrims? Where, where do you get that good? Um, I haven't pugged a whole lot, honestly. I didn't get on Mumble until like two days before the NLTP draft, so um, not really a whole lot of pugs. Mostly just me kind of messing around in pubs with sniping. 
I gotcha, I gotcha. Did you find that the flight carriers were a little bit harder to catch than your usual pub game? Well, I've played with Botai on Pi for a while, because um, that's what I normally play on, and I knew he was going to be tough to catch, and he could really get going in that second game. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely a step up from pubs, obviously. All right, all right. You're enjoying it, though? Yeah, lots of fun. All right. And how Nickel was... Sorry, go ahead, Top. No, you got it. Uh, guys, tell us a little bit more about how you guys would practice. Like, do you guys... Are you, what, what kind of team culture do you have? Are you guys, you know, just happy-go-lucky? Are you guys professional and serious? Are you guys just so good that you don't yeah. need to practice? <laughs> Um, well, I mean, we have pretty, we usually have like three practices a week, maybe for like an hour, hour and a half. Um, just, you know, whoever can show up, however long you can stay. Um, and we get pretty good attendance at them actually, which part of that is we've got a bunch of like new free agents as most teams probably do. Um, but everybody pretty much shows up pretty consistently. Not everybody, but we've had a lot of people that have been here for a while and, uh, are just kind of, we got the core of the team sticking around and we're doing pretty well. Excellent, excellent. Nekolopta, uh, what's the origin of your name? Let me clear this up real quick. Um, I'm from Montenegro, and Nekolopta means sunball in Montenegro. All right, sunball. I did not even know that, so thank you for asking that. How do you pronounce it? Am I saying it right, Nekolopta? Yeah, that's the like pronunciation with an American accent, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say it? Nekolopta. Uh, to my uncultured Asian ears, I could tell no difference. No, no, no. He, you raise it at the end. It's Nekalapta, right? Yeah, yeah. There okay. you go. All right. I'm not from the. Is Montenegro its own country now? <laughs> it is. Fantastic. Love, love the micronations. Uh, Nekalapta, I saw you making really good mental plays. Your your moves to, towards the button uh, were top notch. Um, you, you always kind of find found yourself in a nice position. Uh, whether you were kind of on O or D, um, what's what's your practice regimen look like? I mean, did, you're new to NLTP, right? Yeah, and um, like Buzz, I'm fairly new to Mumble. I don't have a lot of free time, so I can usually can't get on. Yeah, but, but, but I don't know. I'm just just kind of yeah. feeling. It. We really communicated well, so it was easy to know where I need to be because the team was really telling me where the flag carrier is and where they're headed. Yep. Oh yeah, um, that was fun. That was really fun to watch. It was fun to play and a little nerve wracking. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of kind of exciting because uh, you know it's a new map for competitive play, so you didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, that you guys were some of the first people to ever play competitively on this map uh, on this map, and I think I think you showed uh, its potential. Um, a lot of people wish that uh, all the leagues would get a chance to play it, but uh, especially if we could play the way that you guys do there with nice snipes and trouble getting out of base and everything, I think it, we'd all be happy to see games like that. Definitely, and uh, it's really tough to cap on this map, which I think makes for some really close games. Well, how did your strategy change depending on the score? Like if you were down to what kinds of things did you do versus you being, say, up two caps with a couple minutes to go? I don't think we really purposely did anything. I mean, the main thing was um, on this map, you know, there's only those three power-ups, so keeping on top of those was very important. Um, the big thing was there was a couple, you know, times where either us or them would, you know, have, say, like a couple tag throws on offense, and that would just kind of almost every time be a cap. Um, so that was kind of an important thing that swung the game a few times. Yep. All right. Well, nicely got done, guys. Really fun game to watch. That second half of the second game, me and Tag were uh, sorry, me and Top were in stitches. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, what what is happening? There's just so much action. People going every which way. Very very exciting game to commentate. I'm sure it was even more exciting to play with you guys. Yeah, I can't wait to watch the stream. See how it went. Definitely. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going to be in for a treat. That was really fun. And where will we be able to find the stream? Sounds good. Sorry. All right, thanks for streaming it. Absolutely, guys. Take care, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in the playoffs. Thank right. you. Thanks. Top, do you know how to do the uh, the swing the swing network sign? Oh, top's gone.
Okay. You wanna hold on one sec. guys well thanks for tuning into the swing network and uh i'm glad uh, that we had such an exciting game for you me and top want to thank you for tuning in and as always swing that big dick